Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, as you can see, I've been worked to the bone, let's get to the scary movie, what's up? guys, what's up? Did you meet my friend Bones here? He'll be watching the movie with us too today. Today, I'll be doing my first movie reaction for the Halloween season. And I have picked a classic, which I have not seen. I have, I will admit, I've seen clip, little clips of it here and there. And I'd say, who hasn't? But um, this one's a classic. So... Let's get straight into it. Um, it will be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974, the original. Uh, obviously, it's Leatherface uh, and a cannibalistic family. I know that much. Um, I did hear it broke the record for the highest decibel screams at one stage, somewhere in the movie. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, but yes, Halloween is my favourite season. I just... Ugh. This was meant to be a lot sooner. But I got sick and couldn't do it. It was... <laughs> it, it would have been very nice to watch. <laughs> um, while I was sick. So, yes. So hopefully I'll try and catch up as much as I can. Um, a little better late than never, as I said. And this is my favourite season. So, usually Halloween will go on a little bit longer in my world. <laughs> or should I say, our world. So, yeah, he's all sit up there, ready to go. How about you? Let's get into it. befell a group of five youths, in particular Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young, but had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's what makes this one a bit more unnerving. <laughs> a bit unnerving. Based off true stories, that I think makes it very unnerving. Uh, they're desecrated hands. Desiccated. Is it? Is that the word? Mummified, like. Oh. Body wired to a large monument. What the? A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. The scene continues. Oil okay. storage units continue to burn out of control at the huge Texaco. Oh, the classic groovy van. Oh, so this is the paralyzed brother, and obviously the sisters in there with some friends. Oh, okay. You gotta go sometime, don't you? 
Grandfather's from here. Hey, we got an uncle that works on those. They're not related, are they? Worth. To these bad the people. There? That's where they kill them. They bash them in the head oh, with a big no, no, Don't hear oh, it. Don't hear it. Uh-uh. Usually wouldn't kill nope, them on nope, the first nope. lick. Oh, man, it's hot, man. He looks it. Oh yeah, that's clever. Should we pick him up? Oh, yeah, man. Pick him up. He'll asphyxiate out there. What does he look like? Well, the son of a bitch is going to smell just like the slaughterhouse. I'll get the guy a break. He can sit by Franklin. What do you oh, want I appreciate oh, her long blonde hair. No. Hence, why? Yeah. <laughs> Three. Work at that place. Oh, no. How did you get stuck way out here? I was at the slaughterhouse. I Our think he's from here. Hey, my, my brother worked there. What's on his head? My, my grandfather, too. <laughs> I wouldn't, and I wish you'd stop talking about it. I agree. Oh, oh Franklin, you're making everybody sick. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, you don't know who this guy is. And now what he has your knife. Close it and put it away. Oh no! Well, maybe kick yours out. It's a good night. So what? He cut his hand for no reason, just for the feel of it. To my house. I live right off this road. No. No, no. Well, I, I don't know. No. Man. We're in pretty much of a kicking him out. Keep going. How close? It's real close. Well, couldn't you just walk? Uh, I mean, yeah, booty's ass. If it's so close, yeah. it didn't turn out so good. Hey, it's a nice picture. Oh. Hey, you huh? pay me now. Huh? Two dollars. Hey, it's you said nothing about money, no, mister. Frankly, can you do that? I'd just give him the $10 and kick his ass out. Jesus! What? Ah! Oh! Come on, move! That's the last goddamn hitchhiker I ever Yeah, agreed. Agreed. How are you? Would you fill her up, please? I got no gas. Huh? You're out of gas? My tank. Why are you open? Put a sign out. Late this afternoon. Look, you, you boys don't want to go mess around the old house. Uh, maybe Those it's not empty. You're liable to get hurt. We'll be careful. Don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. <laughs> Some folks don't like it, and they don't mind showing you. Oh, my father owns it. Best you stick around here. Sounds like someone's in the house that shouldn't be, and he knows about it. And he's trying to stop them from going there without saying it. No, we have Especially when he's all the girls. Gas station, right? Franklin, if we run out of gas before we get back to that service station. <laughs> that guy's just trying to scare us. My oh, you can't let it go, can he? There could be people nearby. The guy just seemed very adamant about them not going anywhere near it. 
that's not a very good it's not a very good terrain for him is it wonder if that means so he's not going to really get very far he's going to get you you don't think that guy would try and follow us do you what's for Very preoccupied by this. Are they planning to stay there the night? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Oh. No, 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 no. What do you think of the wall of papers? Oh. Oh. Hey! See, now I'm itchy. <laughs> Crawling skin. Making me itchy. See, it's unfair. It's so unfair to him. We'll see you in an hour or so. Yeah. We'll see you in about an hour or so. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. Look at that. Bones. Oh, that looks like a spine. Yeah. What to say? Oh, you okay? That looks like the lake. Oh. I'm afraid we'll never get down here anyway. Somebody must have carried a drought. No water. I never was, no. Uh, uh, no. I can leave him my guitar, or, you know, give him a couple bucks. We gotta come back by here anyway. I can pick up my guitar and give him a couple more dollars and bring him back some gas. Looks a bitch. Unsuspicious from the outside on this spot. Leave, 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 leave now. You find a human tooth that's been pulled, leave. Count your blessings and leave. Hello? Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, he's seizing! Oh! 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 Kirk! I think we just met Leatherface. It's a boyfriend, I know, but if he's not answering, I think a lot of people would end up having a look. Oh! Oh, it's the bone room. Hey, bones! It's your room! <laughs> oh! Yeah, leave. That's a human skeleton. Oh, made into a chair. Stop looking, just get out. Feels funny. The pain. Oh my. Oh. And I think I'll walk down to the creek before oh. it gets too dark. How do I get there, Frank? Here we go again. Well, there's a trail down there between them two old sheds. Literally like, no, lambs to the slaughter. All right. You really didn't want me to come, did you? Oh, Franklin, I'm just tired. It's been a long day. You don't think that guy would try and follow us, do you? 
Well, I mean, there's no way that he could follow us. If he's from the area, yeah, he can. He's probably... It's getting dark too. Oh no. Oh no. We don't really want to be out there. In the middle of the dark. She's done. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she's alive! Oh! Oh, barely. Oh. oh no, she's alive. Straight down, two to go. If they're not back in a minute, we've got to go look for them. Oh, well, what if we get lost too? Sally, we ought to go to that gas station and get help. I'm not leaving here without Jerry. He can't hear you. They'll probably be back in a minute or so. <laughs> go without it. All right, Sally, wait. Sally, wait a minute. I'm coming with you. Let's go. You Let's can't go. go. Sally, I can't keep up with you. Jerry! Oh, they hear it. Come get me. There's more of us. There's a light. Yeah. <sighs> Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! There's no afraid of these people around here. They must know about him. Oh, it's the house. Is it? He just chased her to the house. Shit. Don't scream! Jesus! You gotta tell him exactly where you are! Don't scream! Oh no! Oh, it's the petrol station! You just heard a chainsaw. Oh, Leave. Grab something. He's gonna take her right back to the house. Not to the cops. Betcha. What? That's not a jacket. What the hell is that? He's one of them. Cooperate, young lady. Okay, well, he didn't kill her. They've killed the others, so what do they want with her? You just take it easy, yeah? You're poking her with a stick. The one. Oh, she's awake again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, like a feminine face. You're damn fool! Yeah, seven. Yeah, it's got the female face on it. It's like he's turned feminine. That's Grandpa. Isn't Grandpa dead? Oh, that'd be nothing to them though, wouldn't it? What the? Oh, ow, that hurt my neck. What the hell? He's a vampire. He's alive? Oh, yeah, he's alive. Yeah. That was my look too. But yeah. went in for a pass out from Oh. This must be the same. The highest decibel, you know, in all movies or something, it screams. Record. His throat must be sore from all that screaming. Oh, so they're gonna kill him now. <clears throat> the chainsaw. Direction, they're probably gonna go after him now. Oh, someone's pissed. Oh, oh, Leatherface Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface. Hey, well, that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 okay well that was um a very 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 intense film once it got to the non-stop torture of it was very clever it played on all your senses they whoever 
the people behind it, there's a clever little thing they did. They they um they targeted ev like as many senses as they can to throw you off, so you'd be off balance yourself in a way of going feeling like a little bit like you're there, if that makes any sense. Um, like they they're playing with your hearing with the the loud in and out screams, your your eyes with the flashing and the in and out um, zooming and cut frames and flashes and and that and then obviously other senses of seeing like weird imagery and blood and bones and skeletons and and all that in different shapes and torturous ways it was like it was sort of purposely made to like mess with your senses to throw you off balance so you sort of felt a little bit like you were in it a little bit because it was so intense like I think she screamed for like 25 minutes straight <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> without stopping it's almost like it wanted they wanted you to get in the, the head space of her a little bit with the close-up of the eyes and the the super zooms on the eyes actually and her stopping and starting with her screaming and her screaming turning different levels of screaming and everything it was a, a, I felt like it was very purposely made to target and throw you upside down watching it. Um, the Leatherface, who is played by Garner Hansen, he's the original Leatherface, and he set the tone for the Leatherfaces le <laughs> leather to come. And just the the my my <laughs> that it does where he makes animal noises, he makes female noises, he's wearing female faces, and he wears male faces, and it's like, okay. And then acts like a scared little kid around the um, the middle-aged man from the petrol station. Um, yeah, and that throws you off track too. You know something's up with him. Like, he's like, he's two different people from the day to the night. He actually warned them not to go there, trying to veer them off. But the guy at night was all like, you saw him turn to this boy, he's poking at her and all that sort of stuff. And then he's like, he was never good with the killing and everything like that, but he was okay once it was done. He's the cook. So he's not too impressed with the killing like the others. And then you've got the, the younger one from the right from the get go who sort of sets the tone of craziness and insanity and fear with this hitchhiker that they don't know that just comes into their van seems a little bit off but then just goes off the rails immediately once he cuts his hands and realize we've made a big big mistake <laughs> and it makes you wonder if they hadn't picked him up um would any of it have happened because but they went to the house so um was and then the grandpa, the dead guy that was sitting upstairs, who's actually alive. My God. <laughs> and then to be, oh, it's the best killer in town. It's like, can't hold even hold a hammer, but I don't know what he was supposed to be. A desecrated living man. Uh, that was disturbing. <laughs> um, yet that just added another level right at the end of it of disturbed. And then you've got the main group, which is uh, Sally and her brother Franklin, who's in a wheelchair, which at the beginning you think he's sort of after the, the hitchhiker thing. He just won't let go of the guy and it starts to become a bit annoying. And then it starts to realise maybe he has a point of what he's saying to worry about this person. Like maybe he, they were marked and, and is he following them or and all that he ended up being right and just for the way he went it's just sad he didn't even have a chance and then you've got uh, Sally who's technically the final girl of the, the movie she made it but not without trauma and severe 
injuries. <laughs> um, but she sold her on. I think she's jumped out of windows twice and lived and just kept going and going and going. Don't know how it's going to fare for her afterwards, though. Um, and her friends, which was her boyfriend, Jerry, and the two, the other two friends that were with them that were a couple, they they went quickly. I just think when you're in small area country areas like that where there's not many people, if you knock on the door and no one answers, please. I think that might have been their best bet. Um, obviously they knew someone was there, but if they're not coming to the door, maybe take the hint and leave. It is a very, very, and I have to gonna say, very disturbing, visually complicated film. I think there's a lot of st strategy into the way it was filmed. I don't think it's just filmed for pure gore in that because there's gore and there's, there's gore, and that was a bit different. That's it's just more, more in the line of psychological horror terror. The cinematography and everything from the 70s is amazing. And, like, it, you know it's the 70s, but it doesn't feel like you're in a place where it's outdated in a way. Like, we can, it looks dated, but... It doesn't make you feel like you're outdated. There's no cell phones, there's no phones, there's no TVs and that because of the way the movie is set up. So it comes down to survival. Um, yeah, but just the, the pictures of the landscape and the, the use of the colours and bringing in the day and the nights and and the heat. The heat, I feel, is a little bit over a character in itself because that sort of drives them on to where they stop and they start and where they go, it's to the lake and there's no lake because it's dried up. It happens in drought. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I just, yeah, I think it was a, a, a very well thought out film. It's, it is very disturbing. I think that was the point of it. But I think what makes it scary is partly based on true events and that, that always is scary. But there's people out there that can be like this and do this stuff that's um what i think really makes it terrifying <laughs> like i don't get scared like uh, it didn't get me but the the, the just <laughs> it's definitely scary yes but like scary scary no um i was pretty good but shocking ish for that day <laughs> and age in the 70s i'm pretty sure it turned a lot of heads but what is scary like i said is the thought some of this is real and it's like that these people out there and they weren't caught or as far as they insinuate and this girl like where did she end up her her brother her her boyfriend her friends were all murdered she barely survived but what they did to her mentally was like what happened to her like afterwards yeah like the the tagline describes exactly what I was saying like what happened to her which is who will survive and what will be left of them and she's the only one that survived so it does make you wonder doesn't it what happened afterwards the director Tobe Hooper did an amazing job especially for the, the 70s with what existed back then to be able to make a movie that that is that impactful and memorable and becomes a classic is amazing and that is still to this day with numerous sequels and remakes the actress sally marilyn burns was amazing she was her act like for the 70s it, her acting was believable it it made you feel feel for her in those moments of the screaming and the terror she played it so well, so well. And I think the only other one that was really impactful, obviously, was her brother Franklin, who was Paul A. Pertain. I think that's right. <laughs> it was okay, but I think when it got to a certain point, it started to make sense. He's worry. At the beginning, it was a bit annoying, to be honest. But then it's, I think, become understandable. 
just not an area was safe for him and not then not taking account for that was a little bit sad so that was my first movie reaction for my channel actually and for Halloween season um, which was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the original from 1974 director Tobe Hooper pretty damn good for, and it still holds up <laughs> very well disturbing psychological terror scary true storytelling I had a little bit of a little bit of everything yeah that was a pretty pretty good movie okay so what did you guys think have you guys seen this uh, what did you think about the concept of the movie like what were your thoughts and your takes on what you uh, experienced watching it your thoughts of how you thought it was laid out and <laughs> excuse me sorry about the voice like what did you think about the direction of the movie did you like it did you not like it was it too much for you was it like for me was it not really scary but got you on the true side true story side just the psychological stuff or did it scare you as for a scary movie you can let me know in the comments what you thought did you like it anyway so that was my first one so far got a couple more coming oh hang on one second we forgot to ask some my trusty little skeleton man ironically considering mr bond i think you liked it what do you think <laughs> okay anyway well and till the next time i'll see you on the next one peace